Hi guys, in this episode of Ray Decay, I'm gonna be reacting to the recently released music video by one of my favorite boy groups, 80s, called Don't Stop. And this is a little bit of a weird one because it's a universe uh, music video, which I know is a thing, but I don't really know what that thing is and what exactly it means. Uh, because I've seen these like short music videos on YouTube before and apparently the full versions used to be on you on the universe app and now they're gonna be coming to YouTube but like I thought that these music videos were for like um, for b-sides like music videos for the b-sides of those groups but from what I can see this song by 80s don't stop is not a b-side because I've looked I searched up uh, my playlist and no such song appears. So I guess that's a new song that is getting a music video. So that means, of course, I'm going to be checking it out. But there's also the possibility that this might get uh, blocked, uh, which I hope does not happen. But yeah, I don't really have an experience with reacting to universe music videos. So yeah, let's hope that it doesn't. Because if it doesn't, you're probably not going to even see this video. But yeah, anyway. Uh, let's get into the reaction and see how uh, much I'm gonna love this song in 3, 2, 1. I mean, if this uh, is of like typical title track quality, I think we're in for a good one. Pirate ship, I like that. Lots of auto tune on this one. Ooh, that's a sick shot. Honestly, this is kind of different for 80s when it comes to music videos. I feel like this might be the first one where it's like a storyline based and not performance based. And for the song itself, it's not bad, but it's definitely different. Like it's not as uh, instantly entertaining as their title tracks usually are. I feel like this one is gonna be a little bit more of a grower. It's a pretty sick music video though. The artistry in this one is really cool. It's really great. Man, Sun looks so badass all the time. This is definitely one of their most unique uh, releases. Oh, 
Is that a giant ass ship? And of course he had to lose an eye for that. Because <laughs> they're pirates, you know. I honestly would have really liked if this shot here that we're watching at the moment was actually in the music video during the chorus. Because I feel like because it was like a mainly storyline driven music video, I feel like I didn't really get the energy of the song that I should have, you know? And like I enjoy that they actually did uh, a storyline based music video for once compared to their usual performance ones because, I mean, yeah, they are the kings of performance uh, of the fourth generation for sure, but... And I enjoy that stuff, it definitely makes their music videos so exciting to watch, but I don't mind that they switched it up for this one. Uh, but there's definitely a certain lack of that energy <laughs> in the music video, uh, obviously. But yeah, um, like I said for, uh, before for the song, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more of a grower, it's gonna take a little bit, few more listens to really enjoy it as much uh, as uh, I should. And again, not not because the song is bad or anything in comparison to other songs like uh, The Real, but it's just that it is that kind of song. Like, I don't really feel like I've gotten the gist of the song on the first listen. So I'm definitely going to be checking it out the second time. So yeah, uh, let's go again in 3, 2, 1. And yeah, definitely this song feels a little bit more like a really good B-side than a title track. Oh yeah, this one's a grower for sure. I'm already liking it so much more. And it's definitely very different from their typical releases. Are they cheating? Stop. 
Man, they all look so badass. Man, I barely saw John Hall in the music video. I actually don't really remember seeing him in the music video until this final shot here. And yeah, the song definitely lacks energy when you don't have them dance like this, for even a little bit. And I get it, it would have gone against the vibe of the music video, but there's definitely a certain lack of energy. It's not like a, uh, a thing that ruins the song for me or the music video for me, because I feel like adding it would have ruined it more, but I'm just pointing out because I'm so used to 80s music videos being so hype and energetic and... Uh, not having that is just a little jarring, but I do kind of like it because it feels refreshing as well. It's refreshing to have uh, a different kind of music video for 80s uh, songs. And I really like how they still managed to make a song that I enjoy, despite the fact that it's also so different from what they usually do. Because it's still, it's not like a hype uh, or super energetic, hard hitting kind of song, although it's definitely leaning in that direction. But it's still entertaining and still very much 80s, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I, I, I do like it, but it's definitely not going to be one of my favorite songs. Uh, I will listen to it, I do enjoy it, but like I said, it feels more like a glorified B-side. Which makes sense, because for the most part, the songs that get music videos from Universe, uh, uh, from what I understand, is... B-side, so it kind of makes sense that it is like that, but I do like it, it's pretty good, I do uh, enjoy it. And in terms of a rating for this one, I think I'm going to go with an 8.3 out of 10. And yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. But I am curious what do you guys think about this song, so comment it down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three patrons on Patreon. Omari Bridgman, uh, Deadpool, and our newest supporter, Sanchez. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and I hope you continue to support me and continue to enjoy my content going forward. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I... I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents they're never going to accept me as a trans person they, they just never will and as a matter of fact back when I started the YouTube channel I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot, I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up 
but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know i still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so i just wanted to share this with you guys and again i would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um i just don't see any way out of this because even if i mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my, myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh planning because once i transition it's like i probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about lgbt people at all so there's not even much i can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah i don't know i just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise and this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story i just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that i am in and that i would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with it would mean literally everything like for example uh, a friend that i made after starting this youtube channel my good friend Yuri has been helping me out a lot and I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you don't follow me over there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer, and if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!